sexy. And it is. Hey there, I there, hoder. Hello there. My name is Adam. Welcome back to the channel of 48. Today we're going to go over the 12 volt wiring that I did from scratch on my Ford 8N tractor. Um, it's been converted to 12 volt, it's been converted to electronic ignition. Um, and then I've added other switches here and there, whatever, safety precautions. So uh, pick this sucker up from a friend of mine. His name is Rich. Uh, that's Rich with a PK. Traded him a bushel of walnuts and a couple of broken hammers. Uh, they got real short handles on them. You think, well, that's useless. Uh, some of you that are more intelligent picked up the fact that he needs to smash open a bunch of walnuts. So, uh, joke's on you. Let's get kicking. All right, let's start it off. Deck of battery, new, uh, 12 volt top post. I had my positive lead on the far side of the, of the tractor. From where I'm sitting, I guess it would be the right hand side of the tractor. Negative post on the closest side or the left hand side of the tractor as we're looking at it. Uh, negative post, I have two wires coming off there. The main large ground strap wire that goes to my shutoff here. This is a 12 volt shutoff switch. So, boom to the switch, switch, goes through the switch to the ground that grounds the battery. Um, <clears throat> there's only one ground that goes to here. That's for the amp gauge. So I have an aftermarket amp gauge in here. So you got those two wires there. From the positive side, I have my positive main cable, which is here. Uh, I wish it was red, it's black, oh well. And I also have the starter wire here that goes to the ignition terminal on the on the 12 volt starting solenoid. Um, this is what I do believe the factory or a factory style starter. I didn't put it in, it was in here. When I got this tractor, it was cobbled together as 12 volt, but I think we've done a much better job now. I made a whole new wire for this. Um, got a sweet crimping tool, short as wire as possible, uh, least resistance possible, gets you your nice zoom, wing over here. Um, yep, then I have an ignition switch here. Um, I don't remember where this came from. I don't think I bought it recently. It was in, I've got a parts department back there and it was just in the bin that was for switches. Uh, I spotted it. I said, oh, I can use that on the tractor. Off here, it's got four terminals on the back. You have ignition, battery, accessory, and ST for starter. So on the back here, I have this orange wire runs off and this goes to a fuse block through a heavy fuse through like a I think I have a 30 amp fuse and then runs over to here for my starter. So that comes off the ST or the starter terminal. Then I have the accessory terminal. Uh, so this terminal is only hot when the key's on the in the run position or if it's turned, you know, like back to the accessory position. Uh, when you're cranking, this does not have any voltage and they do that specifically so that, um, you're not taking any extra draw you don't need because what I'm getting off here is this purple wire runs to my amp gauge and then I also will run the wire for the headlights off this and you don't need the headlights on when you're trying to crank. So saving as much juice as possible. Then there's the battery terminal and that's straightforward. That's a heavier wire that goes right to the battery. Um, and then I have the ignition terminal. The ignition terminal is hot when the key's on and it's also hot when you're cranking. So, but I do believe it's off. Yeah, it's off in the accessory position on when the key's on and when cranking. The ignition terminal, I have two wires that go to fuses. The fuses off those, one goes to a ballast resistor. I don't know if we can see it down here. I'll try and get a top view for that in a minute. Goes to a ballast resistor and that ballast resistor feeds the coil. Uh, I looked into getting a 12 volt coil for this, but every time you get one or everything, it seems like they still need to be cut down to six volt. I don't know what's with that. Um, so uh, this was on here, it worked before. So if that's, but I see you can use a six volt coil even with the, in a 12 volt system or whatever. So whatever. So that ballast resistor is like the factory one or the one that was on here and it ran and it runs now. So that cuts the voltage down to whatever it needs to cut it down to. Um, I hooked power up to one side and then 12 volts to one side, check the other, and I had like eight volts coming through it. And I don't know if once you put a load on it, it'll lower that or if that's all it lets through. I'm not a super wiring genius here. Uh, then the second wire that comes off here 
goes, as I said, through a fuse, and that runs to the front of the tractor as well. And I got rid of po my points, and I put in a uh, igniter, I do believe it is, um, ignition. So it's no more points. It's breakerless ignition. It's an electronic ignition. Um, and that way we don't have points burning up, get into the 21st century here. Um, it's really not too hard to do. You just follow the instructions. Um, only one wire comes out. There's, it grounds through the body of the distributor if it needs to ground or whatever. And then the one wire comes out. So you just need to add your positive feed to that. So 12 volts to that. We got 12 volts to the coil, but it's essentially cut down to eight or even six. I'm not, like I said, I'm not exactly sure how much voltage drop you get, you know, when you're under load. Um, and then I also off the positive side of the battery. So those are my, those are my wires that come off the back of the switch here. Um, they go to, I got a four place fuse holder. So everything that can be fused can be fused because why not simple enough? Um, that way we don't burn up a whole wiring harness. The lights, the, there's a hidden wiring harness that runs through the hood here. Uh, I don't have them hooked up to a switch yet, but they just got to hook them up to a switch. Um, so then I have a one wire GM alternator and, uh, don't worry. I did Google how to hook up a one wire GM alternator. Uh, I assumed it's just one wire. I didn't know exactly where the wire should go straight to battery if it needed to go somewhere else, but it's, uh, it's as simple as it sounds. One wire goes, so it goes from the back post of the battery and I'm running a, uh, what do I got? I got an eight gauge wire. I'm running from the back of the, the post on the back of the one wire alternator and that feeds up and it goes directly to the to the battery terminal the positive battery terminal um they call that a one wire alternator is a self-exciting something of that order um <clears throat> so then the other wiring here for the amp gauge uh, i don't have a factory amp gauge i uh, bought an aftermarket well my buddy uh, my buddy tone that's tone with a w he we put a camaro together 15 years ago and He's doing an LS swap now, so the gauges he's got, these Summit brand gauges, they're nice, they work, they seem to be accurate. Um, he, he no longer needed them, so I acquired them, and they, uh, they go on my tratter here. So I got that and, uh, and an oil pressure gauge, but I guess that's irrelevant. The oil pressure gauge is electrical, that's a mechanical one. There are spots on the back of these lights where I could just hook up uh, a light, I could hook up 12 volts on the ground and they could be, light, they could be lighted or lit. All right, let's take a look in through the inspection door, if you will, whatever you call that door there. Fuse block, four fuses. Um, out of that, I have my red wire on the top there that goes to the starter, or goes to the starter solenoid. The blue wire goes to that, as you can see, the uh, now broken, it wasn't broken earlier, neat, um, ballast resistor. It still works, but it just doesn't mount where the shit, I guess. Uh, that turns also into a blue wire that goes to my coil. And then I have the green wire there, green wire that goes all the way to the front and that goes to my electronic ignition. And then there's an empty space. See, there's four wires in, three wires out. The third wire that comes out of there, that's going to be for the headlights. So that's an accessory circuit or whatever. So, um, I didn't know what size fuses to put in, so I just kind of... Just kind of winged it, but uh, they haven't popped yet, and uh, this thing fired up for me until I found a hole in the gas tank. So, other than that, you can see the one wire that comes off here is uh, for the one wire alternator, and uh, we'll show you that on the other side. Here's my 12 volt conversion one wire alternator. Uh, I ordered it off of Amazon. Uh, just made sure that the mounting ears were where they needed to be. Um, somebody had made some brackets. I don't know what was here. I ended up welding these together. They were bolted together before and they weren't quite where they needed to be. I got everything fabbed where I wanted it. Welded them together, schmoozed them up, blacked them out, paint it black, get back on the track. Tur, as Lucky would say. There's the back of my amp gauge. That just takes a positive and a 12 volt source and just a ground to operate that. And you can see the back of my key switch. This right here will be my headlight switch. This right here will be an indicator light that the headlights are on, so you don't leave them on. Uh, part of that is also because there was a hole there, so I'm just trying to fill it, not have an empty hole. Oil pressure gauge, choke. I got my power cut off that has heavy cable running to it, key switch, 
and then here's my amp gauge aftermarket deal there so whenever I turn the key on 12 volts key off switch off here's the front of the tractor headlights are uh, not in yet again the wires there so depending on what I go with lights um, if I go with a factory bulb but I think I'm gonna do like an LED pod that'll end up in there I'll just make a there's kind of one over there, but I'm not done with it. Uh, adapter that the LED pot will fit in. That'll be brighter than anything you could find, that any, any regular incandescent bulb. And uh, I'm not going for factory original here, even though I do plan on selling the tractor, but uh, I, I think it's more 21st century usable with the things I'm doing with the 12 volt conversion, the, you know, the upgraded ignition, upgraded alternator, stuff like that, you know, gauges that we know are accurate and read well. So you're keeping the tractor safe in a safe operating zone. So um, that's my tractor. Hopefully it'll be done soon. Check out that video when it comes out. If you have any questions, throw it in the comments. If you enjoyed and you want to continue seeing me doing my most excellent work, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.